um, a separate trivia video because I just finished my book, The Last Dodo, the Doctor Who book, The Last Dodo by Jacqueline Lena. Um, it's a really good book, I think. <coughs> um, I would probably over and give it a eight or nine out of ten. So that's a pretty good one. Um. <coughs> If you like the Tenth Doctor and Martha together, then I recommend this for you. Or if you like um, dinosaurs and extinct like, creatures and things like that, or just in or just generally if you like Doctor Who, then I recommend this to you. Um, I know that this was published years ago. I started it a couple of years ago. But I'm in eight new books. I tend to put them down. I mean they go back to them next day and I don't <laughs> I go back a month later. So I select it myself. But um for anyone who is thinking about buying this book online, I will read you the back. Just to Give you a better point of view of it. No, no, that makes no sense. Whatever. Um, the Doctor and Martha go in search of a real life dodo <coughs> and are transported by the TARDIS to the mysterious museum of the, lo the last one. So, um, there in the Earth section, they discover every extinct creature up to the present day. All still alive and then suspend his animation. <coughs> Sorry. Um, preservation is the museum's only job, collecting the last of every endangered species from all over the universe. But exhibits are going missing. Can the doctor solve the mystery before the museum's curator adds the last of the time lords to our collection? So it's a real good thing. Um, yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah. Um, like it says in the title, there's, a, there's this one dodo going about throughout the book. <laughs> so you better be used to it. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you the book I'm moving on to next. A really popular book. And then the multi million worldwide better. Oh, but most people I know who read are into this, and some people have seen the film as well. And The Fault in Our Stars by John Dean. Um, I've been told I cry. <laughs> um, I probably will I cry over the TV and stuff. So, so. No doubt. Um, so, just because I haven't even read the back kit, and um, anyone again looking to buy this online, I'll read the back for you. The Fault in Our Stars is award winning author John Dean's most ambitious and chart breaking work yet, brilliantly exploring the funny, thrilling, and tragic business of being alive and in love. Despite the tumour shrinking medical medical that has brought her a few years, Hazel has never been anything but terminal. Her final chapter inscribed upon diagnosis, but when a gorgeous plot twist named Augustus Rothfuss suddenly appears at Cancer Kids Support Group, Hazel's story is about to be completely rewritten. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, um, there's uh, two reviews that I see so far, and one on the front. <coughs> Sorry, that's a simple. Um, there's one on the back and one on the front, so I'll read you both. Um, Damn near genius. 
time. And you laugh, you cry, and then you come back for more. That's um, Marcus Zusak, best selling author of the book. So yeah, I'm not moving on to this, so I've got my bookmarks out. I used to skip a little. I fell off my old one. This is my original. Unicorn. Yeah. Same picture on other favorite ones. Black and white. One's colored. And So I'll just pop that right here, right at the front there. And my other one is this friend in the works for a friend. It does have a wee effect thing on the top. But not anymore. And you get different ones. This is the Metallica one. So roll dial works. Um, it's a roll dial on the top, and the Matilda on the back, and on the front there is Matilda set with a boot, and strange bow, throwing people, <laughs> and Matilda reading the ancient. Then on the back there is Matilda reading. And there it's just a bar for the middle. So I think that's the most of it. Can't wait to get started.